Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and I am back playing some Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, I am playing a Assassin tonight, and this is a build that was recommended to me, and initially I thought it was a joke. This wasn't a build I'm familiar with. This is a Whirlwind Assassin. Yes, you heard that right, a Whirlwind Assassin. You get Whirlwind from the Chaos Rune Word, and... Basically, you use uh, a couple of skills, uh, like Venom, like um, Blade Shield, to buff yourself, um, and primarily use Whirlwind as your attack. So, this is the basic build, and this is more of a PvP build, to be completely honest, um, but I've actually found it works pretty well with PvM. Probably won't be an initial build I would go with after release, but I find this pretty intriguing. We get Claw Mastery for the extra uh, damage and attack rating. Max out Fade for the protection. Max out Venom to increase your your uh, whirlwind damage. Shadow Master. Mind Blast. You can knock out some guys. That's used somewhat for PvP weapon blocks. You've got block going on even though you're dual wielding. And then Blade Shield, one point in that. Uh, in this case, uh, the Claw is actually providing some of those skills. So, like, this is a pretty awesome Claw for this build. Just gonna go through the items quickly here. There's a few things that maybe could be optimized just a little bit. This isn't my character, it's one I found online. But it's pretty dang efficient, even without being quite perfect, I would say. So we're gonna go and kill Andariel and then maybe putz around a little beyond that. Let's see if I can remember everything to buff here. And then we got Whirlwind. It's kind of like a one skill. Um, one skill build. Now, one thing um, to keep in mind is. Claws have very short range, which does uh, limit Whirlwind just a little bit. Like, I'm used to Whirlwinding with definitely a Barbarian uh, and not using such a short range. So you do have to adjust your playstyle just a little bit in order to make this work with a Assassin. But it's working pretty well here. Now, um, I apologize, I haven't had as many videos up in the last couple weeks for Diablo in particular. I've really been pretty tight on time. Uh, I've been dealing with uh, my parents' uh, estate and winding down their house before we sell it, and it's really been taking up most of my free time, but that's pretty close to the end, so I should be available more uh, in like the coming weeks to months. Especially as this game comes live, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on it. Uh, I've actually read a rumor today, I don't know how accurate this is, but that uh, there will be a September either release date or beta, and that we might be hearing something over like the E3 events that are going on right now. So that'll be exciting. Uh, I would love, I think September is a, the sooner the better in my mind. I also may sound a little different. Uh, I am running a new microphone. I've actually got a review for it on the channel. Uh, it was sent this by uh, a company to test out and uh, I actually like it better than my old microphone. So that's what I'm using right now. If, uh, if you've listened to a lot of my videos and I sound different, that's why. If you're in the market for a microphone, for that matter, uh, it's a $40 microphone that I find pretty awesome. Uh, actually, I think there's a coupon right now, you can get it for like $36. And uh, I would say it's, for that price, it's quite good. Pretty 
For some reason, it reset my map to the top right corner. It's been in the bottom left, or uh, top left this entire time, and now suddenly it's on the complete other side, so I'm kind of thrown off here. I apologize. I'm not sure if it's because I was running um, with a controller and maybe it reset something, but uh, it's throwing me off just a little bit. I do have Enigma on for that teleport. That sweet, sweet teleport. That's the main reason that a sorceress is going to be my first character, is I can't live without teleport. It's just too good. If you would have told me that Whirlwind Assassin was an effective build, I would have said you're crazy. But this is a very fun and interesting build. Alright, now we're down to Endurial. And uh, if you've got any interesting builds that you'd like to see played, leave a comment below. I've got, I don't know, 20 videos or so posted with different builds. Uh, a lot of them are builds that I've been thinking about trying at release, and a lot of them are requests. So if, if what you're looking for isn't in that list, feel free to make a recommendation and I will do what I can to try to put a video together. At this point, I think I've hit like most of the staples, uh, you know, all the mainstays of Diablo builds, but there's a lot of outliers and a lot of things like the Whirlwind Assassin, things like the Bear Sorceress that I've been hitting lately that I've never played with before and I'm finding uh, pretty awesome. It's funny. The exact defense of the one I'm wearing. Is, that, is there a range on this one? I, I thought it was, but it is identical. It's weird. That is bizarre. Uh, one thing I think I'm going to do on these videos, and I might circle back and go through some of the earlier builds, is after I kill Andariel. Is set the players to 8, and then see how this fares in that difficulty, because it's a whole different ball game when you put it in player 8. Make sure I'm all buffed up for player 8. And if I die, I apologize, this is a new character to me. I've got, you know, an hour of playtime on it, maybe. And, uh, yeah, I'm not the best assassin player to start with, so this is more barbarian skills. And it's actually killing, I wouldn't say, oh. I bugged out for a second, did you see that? I definitely wouldn't say it is the quickest I've ever uh, killed in player 8. But I'm not dying. Oh yeah, Firestorm. Looks awesome. Kills the frames per second. Let me bring that up too, just to show you. Getting pretty, pretty good performance right now, 100 frames per second. Yeah, so this is, my understanding is more of a PvP build, so that's why uh, it is not, you know, maybe hitting as hard as it could. It, it's definitely, it works with the resistance levels and like the hidden physical resistance on fade and stuff, like, I'm not dying, I'm not taking too much damage. But, um, it could be quicker. The other thing is the short duration on some of these buffs is kind of frustrating. I don't, I don't know if this would be a build I would necessarily play just because it's a little bit more... I hate having to rebuff like every 60 seconds. I always forget. I'm terrible about it. So, while it's fun, there's a little bit too much kind of like finicky bits to it. I'm gonna coin that finicky bits. I'm getting some frame drops. It's like odd. I guess this feels a little laggier than normal. I might have to restart. But I hope it doesn't come through in the video.
I am super excited if the if the beta does actually start, or for that matter, if the full release comes in September. That would be so amazing. Because this has been like a nice tease, but I really just want to start the game proper, playing it legitimately on Battle.net with friends and seeing how it goes. I'm not gonna play much longer. I feel like I've kind of got an idea of what this is. It's definitely not the quickest player eight build. It has survivability and sustainability, I think, but it's not, um, at least this specific character and the way I'm playing it is definitely not quick enough to farm in player eight. Rare Colossal Sword, that's cool. I'm gonna uh, identify that and then probably end it here. And it's terrible, of course. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how this character plays in player one and in player eight. Again, if there's anything you wanna see, any specific builds, any areas, any bugs you want me to test, just drop me a line and I will be happy to try it out. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great night, everyone.